Having successfully reached the eastern edge of Jebel Awainat by driving 700 miles across some of the most arid landscape on the planet, we hatched a plan to climb it. It was agreed that the 5,000 foot summit was a bridge too far, but the plateau near the top should be achievable in our two day window of opportunity. Chris Scott, Rich Washington, Mahmoud Murray and myself made a very early start from our camp. The going was easy at first as we walked west up Karkatal and into the mountain. But soon we were into the rocks with boulders the size of cars to climb across. We passed the dried up remains of a mouflon, a species of sheep adapted to survive in this harsh climate by getting moisture from plants. With the temperature rising, we were often seeking shade and it was in doing this that Mahmoud discovered some cave paintings hidden under a large slab of rock. After about six hours of walking, we were confident we would make the plateau. With no paths to follow and relying purely on some vague GPS waypoints that Chris had, navigation was always a bit random. We made it to the plateau in daylight and were able to watch the sun set on the actual peak. Remarkably, for such an arid area, there was enough dead wood to get a fire going and we gathered around it to discuss the day. We had joined an elite club of less than 100 people who have ever climbed Jebel Awainat. The following morning, we packed up and headed back for the camp by roughly the same route, arriving back in time for tea. 